Mission's possible. My brother and I will fight them to get you the big money that you deserve. Call us. We're the Law Brothers. Hurt by a big truck? Call 310-777-7777 or visit lawbrothers.com. In news, trust is everything. At News Nation, we're earning it every day through honest reporting, checking the facts, and representing all sides. News Nation is getting noticed for reporting that's down the middle, for news that's fact-based and reliable, and a trust rating that's higher than CNN, Fox, or MSNBC. Judge News Nation for yourself. Go to joinnn.com now to find News Nation where you live. News Nation is news for all America. Watch Samantha Cortese and Pedro Rivera on the KTLA 5 News at 4 p.m. Now at four, flooding mudslides and washed out roadways from Hillary. Now parts of the Southland are cleaning up following the historic tropical storm. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Pedro Rivera. And hi there. I'm Courtney Friel. In today for Samantha Cortese. Parts of the Coachella Valley and the Inland Empire were the hardest hit by Southern California's first tropical storm in more than 80 years. We have live team coverage showing the damage across the region, starting with KTLA's Shelby Nelson, live in Cathedral City with more on the desert storm damage. Shelby. Yeah, the damage is extensive, and when we're talking about the Coachella Valley, boy, did that storm really pummel this area. We're on Vista Chino here in Cathedral City, and behind me, you can see a lot of that mud uh, where there are crews working to clear it out. Fire officials have been here all day, so this is an area where there is a command post, uh, and fire officials tell me that they have made more than 35 rescues from this command post just since midnight of last night. In the wake of Tropical Storm Hillary, we're really seeing the effects of all this now let's take a look at some of the video so there is that widespread flooding we are seeing not even just in Coachella Valley of course across the Southland but right here as I said it is worse than a lot of residents have ever seen it before you can see lots of mud some homes were just completely buried some cars were buried people became stuck Palm Springs fire tells us that they had to make two swift water rescues and then that was in the teens for Cathedral City now where we are uh, in this area on Vista Chino so they again had to make several rescues from this area I'm told there was a uh, medical emergency at a gas station nearby they also had to rescue four people off a train the train was literally stopped in its tracks after that flooding just washed over the tracks and then there's also a senior living facility in this area as well where 14 people had to be rescued and we'll have some of that video later on today but we've seen that we've seen people being loaded into emergency vehicles we were hearing from the fire chief uh, who was saying that there are sinkholes further uh, behind us so let's take a look back out here live further out there there are sinkholes in that area and we don't know when that's going to reopen as you can see they're still working to clear on clear all that mud out but they have rescued people that got stuck in that mud out here in Cathedral City again this is what we're seeing in this entire area throughout the Coachella Valley earlier today I did speak with the mayor of Coachella who was telling me that Avenue 50 over there was also inundated by floodwaters he says it's going to take 90 days to be able to fix that they say that they believe they've got permanent damage over there so we're talking to several officials around the Coachella Valley as well as the chief here in Cathedral City about all this flooding and what they are doing to mitigate all this. We've got some more images to show you, but for now live here in Cathedral City, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. And I'm glad you got out of your situation safely. Shelby, yeah. thank you so much. Meantime, rescues are underway in the Inland Empire after Hillary triggered flash flooding and debris slides that left some residents trapped. KTLA's Lauren Lister is live in Oak Glen with more on the damage and rescue efforts there. Lauren. Yeah, Pedro and Court, blue skies here. It is even warm, but you can see the trail of destruction Hillary left behind. This road used to have a guardrail. Take a look. It is pushed way out over this creek, which overflowed during the storm. It sent rocks, debris, even giant trees right into this building where mud, you can see it goes right up to its windows. Crews cleaning up mud and debris in the community of Oak Glen. Less than 24 hours after Tropical Storm Hillary dumped rain that sent water overflowing creeks and flooding down streets. In the morning, the damage revealed. What's your reaction seeing the damage of this storm? It's definitely devastating, for sure. Kyle McLaughlin's father owns this property. His dream was to turn this building back into a business for the community or sell it. 
now? I don't know that we're gonna recover from this one. This is the worst one.